So in today's video, I was wanting to discuss SoundCloud rappers, of course. I want to take a look at some of these artists. I'll be using copyright free beats in order to slur some words and call it a day. Let's get into this. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. So this guy has released some really fire tracks. I mean, I don't think he originally is from SoundCloud. I mean, TikTok has boosted his career more than anything could have ever have. But still, his most popular song has got to be Diamonds in the F Rough. Diamond and a love, diamond and a love. I think I am dancing with the stars. I think I am on cloud nine. He has also released some other tracks, Living My Life and When I Turn 19. All in all, this due to some really fire tracks. Keep on keeping on, dude. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. Okay, so when I was 11, I really wanted to make music, but the main thing that stopped me was not knowing how to play an instrument. Well, there was an alternative to this. Music Maker. On my little LG phone, I could create any song I wanted with the help of loops. Loops are just a single beat played over and over. Anyways, at this time, I was really into Marshmallow for some random reason. I wanted to be just like him, so I created a couple beats and held these small concerts in my little brother's room, forcing them to listen to my ass music. Anyways, where I'm going with this is that on SunCloud, you're going to find a lot of tracks that are just this. These guys release some fire tracks, bro. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. So, take someone who raps, then crank the reverb dial to the max, you've got yourself an artist. So a big thing rappers love is to gloat about smoke us some green grass, man. Ooh. And who better to do it than DJ on his living? With his different style of reverb, rap, and joint passing, you'll probably get yourself some fire tracks such as in the club with DJ Honest. Uh, turn it up. We in the club, throwing bottles of Patron. What's going on? I'm in the zone. Ho, grab your hoe. It's about to go down. In the store, got it myself. I got that. Got a new game coming, DJ Honest World. It's an RPG fantasy, RPG. G, 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 G. Honest. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. Man, oh man, we are getting to the best right here. Lil Kit Kat has some nice songs to listen to. It's like putting a marshmallow in your ear. It's like laying your head on a nice, soft pillow. Lil Kit Kat takes your copyright free beats and transforms them into something different with a song such as Stuck in the Chair or Scooby Doo or Super Chew or other songs he writes about f being fat or having diabetes or something. Take a listen. I'm stuck in my chair, I'm a fat dude, and I still don't know what to do, but for now I'm just gonna take a boo and big black house on my moo. Keep in a moo, I'ma just hop in a stool. Okay. When you see me step on tape, say you know it's gonna be an earthquake, cause you ain't got shit on me, cause I shit on your mom's titties. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just lost my toe and it tastes good, yeah. I eat a lot of Jolly Ranchers, then I took them in my ass. Okay, okay. I. I just thought this was funny. It's not really an entry, but there's literally just a 13 minute track of this. I'm sorry. It's just really funny to me for some reason. Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. So I know this video hasn't really focused on just SoundCloud. So I'm going to step away from SoundCloud again to go to Spotify. And on Spotify, we have the kid unknown. Misspelled, of course. Can't have a rapper name without it being misspelled. At least this guy didn't put his name as Lil Unknown or Unknown Shoddy. So let's take a look at some of his tracks here. When Lil Bro walked up to me and said, Do you wanna hit? I said, Yes, but first, tell me what am I about to intake? He said, Lil Bro, just give it 30, you can't wait. Stuck on Mars. Stuck on Mars. And it's just another guy muffling some words over a copyright freebie. <sighs> Man, I mean, I used to make music and yeah, I was not good at all, but I tried to experiment. That's what I think music making should be about, experimenting. Kind of like the guy who wrote Speared in the Sky, but not a fan entirely of the song, but for years they could never figure out who made his iconic riffs so unique. That's what I think music making should be about. SoundCloud is just full of angsty, depressed teens waiting to be the next little Yachty. <laughs> oh, man. So that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It really be a lot.